morning. Welcome back to Time to Go. Bob here. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. So today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a watch that I think is pretty tough to beat in its price range. The watch is the Richard Legrand Odyssey Mark II. And I'm seriously impressed with this watch, both with its spec sheet and just its looks and wearability. At the cost of under 300 US dollars, I think they've really jammed a lot into this watch. So let's spin the camera around and check it out. All right, so the Richard Legrand was actually one of the watches I had on my recent vacation. With its sporty, but at the same time, almost an elegant look, it works in a lot of situations. I brought a couple of straps with me to dress it up or dress it down. I had a leather as well as a silicone, both quick release. And at the end of the video, we'll take a look at those on wrist. The watch also does, by the way, come with a NATO, so we'll check that one out too. So measurements, the case width here is 41 millimeters. The bezel does protrude just slightly and comes in at 41.5 millimeters, which actually makes it a little, very easy to grip and use. I'm getting 48 millimeters lug to lug. The lug opening is 20 millimeters and the thickness is just over 14 millimeters. That does include the double domed sapphire crystal. The crystal, by the way, is coated with AR on the underside. We have 200 meters of water resist and the Odyssey is running the NH35 movement. So guys, to me, they've really got their bases covered on the spec sheet big time with this one. The dial is a sunburst ceramic dial. In low light, it's quite subdued, but really pops in brighter situations. It's pretty glossy, so between the dial and the bezel insert, it's quite an eye catcher. Up top, we have Richard Legrand printed with their logo and Odyssey automatic along with the water resistance down by the six. At three is the date wheel. The rectangular hour markers are applied and if I'm not mistaken, the six, nine and 12 are two. If not, it's really heavily applied loom. The handset is really well executed, and I always love to see the minute and second hand come right out to the chapter ring. So while we're focusing on the dial, let's take a look at what this watch has to offer in the loom department. And guys, look at that. The loom on this thing is sweet. Love that loomed bezel. They're using BGW9, and even though it's not the brightest loom out there, I'm always happy to see that icy blue color. The bezel, by the way, has a sapphire insert. It is coin edge for very easy grip. Again, the fact that it protrudes just slightly from the case helps with that as well. The action is excellent on the bezel. One odd thing though, it's not a 60 or a 120 click bezel. It's actually a 90 click bezel, making it a seven and a half clicks per five minutes. So if you look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there would be another half of a click there, but can't remember seeing that before. It's still precise enough for anything that I'll be timing. Otherwise, it's really nice to use and no alignment issues. The watch is almost completely brushed other than the polished beveled edges at the lugs. I think that was a really good call with that shine and sheen of the dial and bezel. More polishing might have made the watch a little bit too blingy. The crown is a screw down crown signed with RL and another cool touch with this watch and it just gives you that something extra you don't often see with watches this price is that case back. It's a really deeply pressed Nice polished finish on the symbol there with the diver's helmet and anchors. The bracelet, by the way, is also completely brushed. We do have solid end links. It tapers down to 18 millimeters at the clasp for an ultra comfy fit. The clasp is milled and signed with Richard Legrand. Plenty of micro adjusts. Really nothing bad to say about it. So let's pop it on here. All right, so here it is on steel. And guys, this wears like a dream. It is ultra comfy, looks so good. If you check out their site, there's a blue dialed version that looks really nice too. So I'm trying to think of negatives, but considering the price, I'm having a hard time coming up with some. I guess the big one would be the 90 click bezel it would be much better with 60 or 120. But otherwise, at $300, this is, again, pretty tough to beat. So let me show it to you on a couple different straps. 
And here is the spare NATO that it comes with. It's always nice to get the extras with these watches. And this is a good one. It's a seatbelt style. It's a little bit of a thicker one, but a really good quality feeling NATO. So it looks good on the watch too. So on to the next one. All right, so here it is on silicone. And on our trip, when I was wearing this through the day around the pool, I had it on this Black Barton Elite silicone. Looks great. These are really, really nice straps, and they're very affordable too. So just a quick look here. Let's dress it up on some leather. And last but not least is this pairing. So at night on our trip, I dressed up the Richard Legrand on this Croc Emboss strap. I think this one was from Desari. I believe I picked it up on Amazon. Both this and the Bartner Quick Release have made the watch a really versatile watch to travel with. I brought multiple watches but could have easily gotten away with just one. Overall, when it comes to the Odyssey Mark II, I'm really impressed and looking forward to see what they come out with next. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.